requesting. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may not have. I did a video, I think it was a few weeks ago, and what I titled that video is Why Do Women Send Such Mixed Messages? Was it that? Yes. Yeah, so I did that video, and what you guys said was, I want to see the male perspective, what about guys? Because I basically demonstrated and used myself as a little guinea pig to show you that, the split in women's consciousness between the aspect of them that wants the traditional female role and the part in them that doesn't. So what I'm going to do for you today is to assume the consciousness of the collective mankind, meaning men, specifically the split within them that wants the traditional role of a man and the part that doesn't. So... Enjoy yourself. But the one thing I need to say before this is, what I want you to do is to really practice how does this relate to me? Because what I'm doing is not projecting my own opinion as Teal Swan upon this concept. I'm literally taking on your consciousness. So you're about to see yourself in a great big old mirror. Have fun with it. Okay. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? I don't know. I'm here because of you, not because of me. <clears throat> what are you feeling about the traditional role of marriage in society today? I think I'm going to do it. What do you feel, how do you feel women should play a part in your life? What role should women play in my life? That depends on the woman. I mean, all women are not the same. How do you perceive vulnerability? How do I perceive vulnerability? Yeah. It's not something you do in public? Like, when I think vulnerability, I think about somebody who's crying like a little kid. I'm not supposed to do that. I do it sometimes, and all guys do, but hopefully we're drunk. You can blame it on the fact that you're drunk. What happens if you're not drunk? <laughs> you gotta apologize for yourself? What do other people think of you if you're vulnerable? That you're sissy. That you're weak. Girls aren't interested in you. What do you want? What do I want? Yeah. I want success. That's the thing that's the most important thing to me. I want to make a name for myself. I really want to be able to provide for everyone. That's really important for me. Yeah, but it bothers me. Like, sitting around being idle really bothers me. Um, like, I care, I actually really care about status. Like, a, I want, I don't want to admit that, though, because it makes you kind of a, you know, I'm sorry, I'm frustrated a little bit. I feel like I'm getting mixed messages. From who? Well, like people. About what they want from you? Like it's, like if you, you know, like you may want a fancy car, because when people see you in a fancy car, they're like, oh, that guy's, that guy, like other guys don't mess with you, and girls really like you, so. I want a really nice car, but I can't say that without people being like, oh, you're a shallow douchebag, so. It's like most of the truth of me, I'm not really telling people. Do you feel like you have to hide yourself? I didn't think about that until you asked me that. Uh, no. But yet you only can share <laughs> vulnerable emotions when you're drunk? You see, I don't see that as the truth of me. The vulnerability? I don't really see anything as the truth of me if I don't want it to be the truth of me. I feel like you can choose what you are. 
That's what I believe in. You can choose what you are. That's what I care about more than anything. I can prove myself because it doesn't matter whether I started out on the streets or started out a multimillionaire. Like, I should be able to prove myself. I care about proving myself. And I, I, I feel like I want a woman to support me to prove myself. That's what I feel like, that's what I feel like women are meant for in my life is support. Supporting you. Yeah. To do what I want to do. It's like, if they're there and if they're stable and if they're sort of, you know, cooking for me or like doing things that are nice for me or taking responsibility for the kids and it lets me do what I want to be doing and need to be doing. I have no problem providing a life for her if she does that. What do you feel like? I feel like, like a lot of us feel like it's really hard to do though. I feel like making money is a lot harder than I ever thought it would be. And it feels like society's kind of set up against you. I hate that I'm saying that because I don't believe in saying that. I believe in saying you can do whatever you put your mind to. But to be honest with you, it's frustrating me today as it feels like no matter how hard you try to do it, it's like they're taking your money away left and right. So you feel kind of between a rock and a hard place? No. I don't let myself get in positions like that. I feel like I'm in, I feel like this isn't an interview. I don't like those. You said you feel like the women should support you. Yeah. Um, how do you feel if they're working or helping with this money aspect that you- It actually pisses me off. With? I think that's where stuff goes wrong. This is pissing me off. That they have to or that they want to? Both. I hate that a lot of us are in the position where we have to because we're not making enough money and that makes us feel like failures. And what I don't understand is when they choose to. That's what I really don't like. It's my fault if they can't help it, but if they want to, what the hell is that? That's not my fault. You feel like they're trying to be men? Yeah. It's exactly what I feel like women are trying to do. I feel like everybody's got tick envy. Yeah, it's really pissing me off. This is where my real madness starts, my anger. I'm angry. I can get angry, that's, that's, that's not weak. So how do you feel like they should? Um... I want them to go back to what they are supposed to be. I want them to go back to what's natural to a woman. Like it's not natural for a woman to be sitting in this, like to be competing with me. I sure as hell don't want them competing with me. That's ridiculous, it's embarrassing. So how should they express their um, creativity? Not by competing with me. Why can't they do it in their own way? But I feel like they're denying what they are. They're denying what they're meant to be. It's just rebellion. That's all it is. It's just they're sick of being controlled by everyone, so they just want to flip the tables and control us now. How do you feel like a woman would be if she had total faith in your support? I feel like a woman should want to take care of the kids. She should want to be a mother. She should want to be a wife. I feel like she should like that. I feel, I feel like that's the confusion. I'm really confused about that. I feel like women should want that by just because they're women. I feel like they should know how to take care of babies just because they're women. They should know, you know, how to, lots of us feel like they should know how to cook just because they're women too. I know I'm not supposed to say any of this out loud. Like everybody, look at, look at, can you feel how everybody's looking at me now? Oh my God, he's such an asshole. I can't even admit to this stuff. It's taboo. Yeah, it's taboo now, thanks to women. Now I get to be the asshole if I just expect you to be what you are. I'm so angry about this, my hell. It's like, and I, I kind of want, I, I kind of want him to fail at it. You know, there's part of me that's sort of like, all right, well, if, if it's not my fault and you don't have to do this and you're just choosing to do this, then go fail. See how hard it is. Go ahead and take the pressure. Watch what happens when they take half your money. Watch what happens when you have to show up every day at a time you don't want to be there. Watch. 
If you fall flat on your face, which you fucking will, good. Like, if they're going to complain about wanting to do something, they should have to suffer the consequences of it, which means I'm not going to support your ass. I feel like women want everything. Women want everything. They want me to support them. They also want me to be a dad at the same time as be a husband, at the same time as do what they should be doing in the house. At the same, It's just... A man can only do so much. I wanted to go back to how I was. Do you feel tired? Yeah, I am tired. I'm mostly tired of feeling like I'm on tiptoes around women all day, every day. It's like a minefield. You can't do anything right. Should I open the door for her or should I not? If I open the door for her, is it an insult or is it not? If I come onto this chick, is she gonna call me a rapist and call the police on me? I, I can't do anything without thinking about how a woman's gonna receive it and how she's probably not gonna receive it the same way that she would have received it if she was actually accepting the fact that she's a woman. I'm mad because I feel like way back when it was a lot more simple. It was like, I know what I'm doing, I know what my role is, I know what you're doing, I know what your role is, and they fit together perfectly. Why did we have to mess it all up? So I feel like I'm getting punished for something that some idiot did generations before I was born. I didn't rape any bitches. I'm treated like I did every day. I feel like I try to be what a man's supposed to be. I try to protect you, and what do you bitches say back? What does this mean? I don't know. It means I'm trying to protect your ass. Go ahead, get eaten. I feel like women are dumber. They actually can't see the value that I hold. Like they're dumber today than their grandmas were. What are your needs? I need support. I need someone to support me to go become successful so that that success comes back to support their life. It's a type of support. Kind of sounds like a 1950s dynamic almost. I feel like that's a pretty crappy judgment. What was wrong with it and what was right with it? I feel like things were better back then. I feel like we, we actually valued each other. I mean, marriages were more successful back then. They were way more successful back then. Do your fucking research. Like, women actually knew what men were supposed to do in their lives. They didn't spend this whole time in rebellion. So you feel like you should have... More... I feel like women are in PMS like 24 hours a day now. You feel like a man should have one wife for the rest of the, for the rest of your life? Yeah, ideally. Traditional marriage. Yeah, ideally. You don't want multiple women. Well, I mean, every man kind of wants multiple women, but not because he actually wants to take care of multiple women. That would be like a nightmare. Well, what I want is to feel good about myself, which is something that women don't let happen anymore. If my woman actually valued me, I probably wouldn't feel the need to go around with other women, would I? It's just a woman can only get so bitter before you want to look for your needs somewhere else. You want to sit there getting beaten up. This is what it feels like to be a man right now. You're just getting beaten up and beaten up and beaten up for shit you didn't even do. It's like you're born as a man and that's your first offense. So you feel like there's a duality that women want from you or they feel like you feel like you're being punished? 
Yeah, I feel like I'm being punished. My first offense is to be a man. What do you mean by that? I'm born a guy, and so I automatically am an asshole. I, I am being taught that what I am is bad. That's the truth today. You're a perpetrator. Watch yourself. You hurt everyone. Watch yourself. I have to suppress my nature all the time. Well, no, you know. Used to be like if I really felt like punching something, I could punch something. If I really felt like having sex, I could have sex. If I felt all of my urges, I can't act on anymore. It's like I'm just this pent up ball of energy. I feel like I could just shake for like a hundred years, just shaking because of fury. How do you want a woman to talk to you? Or, like, express her needs in such a way that she doesn't feel like... I want her to be sweet, what a woman's supposed to be. I want a woman to be sweet. I mean, if she's angry, it's kind of cute and sexy sometimes, but... I don't want the bitterness. I hate that. Like, if a woman's angry, she can be angry, but if she's bitter, that's a whole other thing. I don't want a bitter woman within five miles of me. And it seems like that's what they're turning into. And rallying each other up to be. Just feels like an angry rebellion. I just feel like all women have sort of collected together and been like, we're not going to take it no more. Oh my God, rape, rape. When it's like, bitch, you're drunk too. I hate this. I feel like relationships are absolutely impossible. It's not possible anymore. Like what we had back in the day is not, and what I grew up thinking I would get, is not what I'm going to get. And I don't know how to adjust and where I fit in anymore. I don't know where I fit anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore and not do. I'm frozen. And I don't have the energy to stay frozen because it's not my nature. I want to get things done. I want to move forward. And so if I'm being told I have to suppress all those instincts within myself, then I'm going to explode. How do you raise your son? I don't. I don't know what to say to him anymore. I disagree with half the shit his mother thinks. I just can't tell her that without being an asshole. Like I said, most of my truth I can't say. So I sometimes give him a tip here or there. I sometimes lift him up off the ground if he falls. I, 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 I don't. Sounds like you're giving up a bit. What would you do? What would you do if you're in my position? I, it's like walking on broken glass. There's a come to point where you're just like, all right, you fucking do everything. This is the what I'm the problem I've got with women. There, I'm being made wrong for everything I'm doing. So go ahead, do everything. It sounds like you don't know what the traditional role of a man is. Sounds like you don't know what a traditional role of a man is. Well, I feel like the traditional role of a male is what I've been told. Well, it's not even what I've been told. The traditional role of a male is like an idea I have in my head. It's like a picture, you know? A lot of it's based on what culture I come from. There's a lot of us with different cultures. But, like, I have a picture of what it should look like, what the house should look like, what it looks like when I come home from work, what she should be doing all day, what I do and don't do. Emotions are a hell no. I'm not an emotional person. I'm a logical person. And it's my job to ground the household that way. 
It's okay if a woman's emotional. She's supposed to be emotional. She's not supposed to be a freaking nutcase or bitter. She can be emotional. I'm the one that grounds the whole household. I'm the one that leads it and keeps everything on track. I'm definitely the one responsible for protecting everybody inside that household and making sure that they all have food and whatever else they need, especially on a physical level. Now, I have a picture in my head of what that looks like. It doesn't look like what I have today. I literally feel like a criminal who didn't do anything. I feel like I do have an idea of what a traditional role for a man is. It's just everyone's telling me that's not okay anymore. Do you have anything else to say? This is your interview, not mine. And now we're going to see the other part, the part that's opposite of that one, the other side of the split, which is the aspect within men that doesn't want the traditional male role. Hi. Hi. So you don't want to be... Oh, I, sh I don't want to be inside... Cl I don't want to be in clothes. I don't have short hair either. Like, I feel like I, my hair is really long, and I've, like, grown it really uh -huh. long, as long as it goes, and I don't want to have a shirt on. So... Hi. How do you feel about a non... How do you feel about traditional men? It's so outdated. I don't feel like they have any idea what, what it is to be a man. I feel like I come from some deeper knowing. What is that? I'm really aware of that other aspect. I feel like that aspect was created to keep me silent, actually. I'm wild. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can have multiple women? I feel like I'm going to I'm going to act intuitively. If I feel like really committing to one woman, I'm going to really commit to one woman. I feel like I could take care of multiple women at once. I feel like I could take care of a whole village. Do you feel like what do you feel about the di the definition of a divine masculine? I don't know what the definition is by your standards. What is the definition of your standards? not suppressing myself like all of my instincts can come out if I want to be sexual I can be sexual if I want to punch something I can punch something like right now I feel like sort of screaming at the top of my lungs and I can do that and I'm not going to hold myself back not for your sake or anyone else's sake and I'm not going to walk on broken glass like I'm not there's no box you're going to be able to put me in how do you feel about women uh, in the workforce I'm not very threatened by it, but I don't feel like they should have to. I, I don't feel like my identity is particularly attached to what they do or don't do. You know, it's like I'm not adjusting myself according to what everyone else around me is doing. And that feels the best to me. I don't want to hold someone back. Why would I ever do that? I don't want to hold myself back. If a woman wants to do something, I'm not going to hold her back from it. How do you feel about expressing vulnerability? I feel mixed about it, because there's part of me that does feel things really deeply. Like, I feel everything. I don't really feel like you can call yourself connected or in charge of things unless you can feel everything. It's almost like I need to be so connected that I can feel if another man's going to come against me and the things that I care about. If you're just tuned out to like everything in the world around you, then you're going to mess up and not see a bunch of stuff. But I also feel like you got to keep your shit together. So you're pretty highly intuitive then. I'm very intuitive. But like I'm not, I mean, if I break down, it's going to be in a setting. And preferably with other men. Because 
I don't like the idea, like, I still feel like it is my responsibility to protect people and to make sure everything's going according to plan and to move everyone forward. And if I'm breaking down, then it puts the responsibility on their shoulders and I can't live with myself like that. Like, I take intense levels of ownership and responsibility for things around me and people. So, if I break down, I can't do that. What kind of support do but you if, feel? But like? if I suppress, like that other part, then I'm already kind of doing that. You know? That's the way that I see it. Like, if I break down on the floor and I'm, like, crying hysterically, then I'm putting the responsibility on everybody else's hands to keep things going and moving. But if I suppress, then I'm naturally going to be worse at my job, so I also have to take care of that. I have responsibility for both. What kind of support do you feel like you need from women? Or enable to hold it together? But I don't need it. I like it. You don't need support? I don't need it. I like it. Do you feel like you're okay solo? Like when I, um, I wouldn't choose it, but yeah, I'm okay. It's just that, like, let's say that a woman cooks me dinner. I'm going to see that as her extending herself towards me and I'm going to pick up on the cue. I can find my own dinner, but I like that exchange. I don't expect it of her. I feel like to expect anything of a woman is to trap the ocean. <laughs> I love how wild they are. What do you feel about freedom? I really feel like I'm a man. I feel like the other one's a boy. I feel like he's just trying to fit himself into something that he's not instead of really be true to himself. I feel like I'm this like wild passion. What do you feel like he's trying to fit into? Something that makes mommy love him the most. Something that makes mommy meet his needs. I'm like past that. I don't need a mom. I have one. But now that I'm as old as I am, it's my job to take care of her too. I literally, I see that as my responsibility. It's my responsibility to take care of every woman. And every man. We should take care of each other, but like we're all responsible for the women. I feel like if we don't keep them in a way where they're thriving, then it's our fault. So whatever needs to happen for a woman to feel like she's thriving, that's what I'm going to do. And that's going to be different based on woman, one woman or the next woman. How do you feel about raising kids? I feel like I have a very specific role in it. I feel like it's not my responsibility. I mean, I, I should be there no matter what, like protecting and sort of creating this sort of like a safety pen for women and children, but I feel like, as aside from just being there in the first few years, I don't feel like my role is that that role. I feel like my role in parenting comes when they're a little bit older and they're wanting to like explore the world. Then it's my job to take them into the world. I feel like I have to do that too because I feel like women have the tendency to kind of like want to keep them. And I gotta go no. Do you feel like living in intentional communities is... I like that. I like that as long as I can trust the other men that are in that community, but but we got an issue with each other. Men? Yeah. And other men like yourself? You have an issue with other men like yourself? Well, I feel like part of our instincts, I mean, if we're not aware enough and on top of them enough, I feel like part of our instincts are to take each other's women. And I, I don't want that. So you got to trust that another guy who's part of your community is not going to do that. And it's, all, it's also your responsibility to make sure you never put a woman in a position to even be tempted. But I, I do feel like I can't fully trust other men. And I feel like most of our lives, especially in today's world, is just trying to scare each other off of doing that. <laughs> Which I hate, because I'd rather just um, live free. I enjoy that someone's seeing me finally. I 
I have very little fear. I feel really open. How do you feel about marriage? I feel like it depends on the marriage. I feel like if what you want is to cram me into the idea that society has today of a marriage, I'm not going to be able to do that because it's ridiculous. I'm not going to stay with somebody if they're miserable being with me. Why the hell would I do that? That's imprisonment. I will not put up with imprisonment. At the same time, I, I'm naturally forward moving. I'm naturally going to commit to things. I'm naturally going to take ownership of things. That's what I do. I own things. So, you know, if you don't want another man to own your woman, you got to own her. End of story. It's obvious if you're not going to own your woman emotionally or physically or otherwise, then another man's going to come in and take her, and he deserves her if that's the case. I feel like men have to man the fuck up. It bothers me when I'm, I'm actually looking at a world full of sissy boys. They're not men. They're little boys. They're basically trying to turn the women in their lives into mommies. I'm judging this other part with me, by the way, because that's exactly how I feel about that aspect. He's trying to turn the women in his life into mommies. Take care of me. No, you just left your woman undefended. So... If another man takes her, then he should. What other problems do you have with the traditional man? With this other part? Well, most of it is that they're completely confused. Like, you can't get a straight edge out of that one, can you? Have you listened to it? I don't know what it is. It's whatever my grandpa said it is. It's whatever my dad said it is. It's confused. It's super confused. And I will not live like that. Like the traditional role of, of men, I mean, I'm kind of glad it's getting lost. I feel like I finally might have an opportunity to express myself. What do you feel about the feminist movement? I hate it. I actually hate it. Why? But I feel like it was our fault. I feel like what we did is, like, expect women to be in a box and controlled them instead of owned them and really took care of what we owned. And as a result, I feel like they were built against us. So I feel like we're really to blame for what happened there, but I feel like it's super embarrassing. Because what they did is they pushed away me. Which is what they really want. It's what they really want to fuck, too. <laughs> I know they want me. I know they do. I can feel it. <laughs> what do you like about the traditional male? Well, the traditional males still see themselves as leaders, and so do I. What else? Oh, this is really hard for me, because I'm like, I hate that aspect. Uh -uh. You hate how they suppress? Well, they want to provide most of them, and that's... Also me. They recognized men and women as different, and I do also. You know, what, what, what neither of us, both of us agree upon something, and that's that, that women and men are different, whether you try to make them the same or not. When women try to be men and men try to be women, it just messes everything up. It makes it so that we don't have a role in each other's lives anymore. It makes it so that we're denying our true self, and it's really a lot less sexy. How do you express your emotions? Me? Yeah. 
I have no problem expressing my emotions in any way that I feel like it. I can scream at the top of my lungs and I can cry, provided that I know first that it's not going to cause a collapse in what I am responsible for. I feel like it's a good message for women, actually, because women don't understand that about us. Sometimes they're like, why are you keeping it together? You need to lose your you know, shit right now. And I'm like, no, right now is not the right time. And you actually need to trust me in that, not just me avoiding it. I'm not going to let myself loose completely if, unless there's no consequences. I mean, if you do anything other than that, you're a child. Do you have anything else to share with us? I'm really happy you guys are seeing me. I feel like what I am is this very deep understanding of what it really is to be male. I love it. I love the way it feels in my body. I love the way it feels open and like super strong. I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be. I don't feel like I have to keep any of me back and I want every guy to reown this. Like it's time to get rid of the old structure. That's what I actually feel. It's just most men are too scared to let themselves be me. And I feel like women need to let me be me. <sighs> okay. So here I am standing in the center of these two aspects. And if I'm standing in the center, which is sort of to develop the aware ego between these polarized parts, again, totally did not anticipate what happened. What I didn't anticipate is that the one who wants the traditional role would be as confused as it is and feel, you know, what it felt like, I don't know whether I expressed this when I was in this part, but what it felt like being in that part was almost like there's this old idea or clothes. It's like the character of a traditional man is like this, these clothes that a, that a man or a boy puts himself into when he comes into uh, the process of socialization. And it's a weird mix of like some of what's true to what it means to his essence being a man and some of it's totally not. It's just like what he's told it means to be a man. So there is so much confusion in that part and this you know, sort of blend and mix of energies. And I didn't feel particularly strong. I felt really guarded as that part. But also, you know, very clear, what unites them both is that both aspects really want there to be a difference between men and women, you know, and are really frustrated that there isn't a difference anymore. Don't know whether most of you who are women would agree with that or not. Um, on this side, what was super intense, I was also not anticipating, is that the part that didn't want the traditional male role was by far the more um, strong and clear to one's essence part. But at the same time, it wasn't like, you know, when I would, if I was sort of project to project my own um, idea of what it would be, I would anticipate that the part that doesn't want the traditional role would not look anything like what we just saw. I would be sort of projecting the idea that being in that part would be um, a more feminine aspect, an aspect that didn't want all the responsibilities, but was totally the opposite. It was literally like divine male. It was almost like, you know, here's what I'm taking out of it, is that like within every single man is this very primal male essence and it wants to express itself in a certain way and that way that it wants to express itself i might actually venture to say as a woman we actually really really want but because of like what has happened within the process of socialization and everything a lot of those urges that come you know from men and men being put in a negative position sort of made men take control and so you know, the traditional male role has actually pulled men away from their ma masculine essence and sort of dumbed it down, if you will, and filtered it in ways that aren't authentic to a man. And so, you know, it's, it's almost like what, what really men are wanting is to get back to that male essence and are sort of wanting the permission to be able to do that from women without, like the first one was saying, uh, feeling like by doing that they're going to be called a rapist or like made out to be an asshole and pushed against but you know to tell you the honest truth even if women did push against me in this role that was on this side I didn't feel like it would make much of an impact I felt so much bigger than them I mean it's not in like a condescending way but when I was in that part I was like 
it's just obvious I'm like way bigger than a woman. So if she sort of hits back at me, it's my responsibility to take it seriously because her well-being is my best, you know, that's my responsibility. So I have to actually really take her, whatever she's doing is serious and valid. But it's still like, I can't be threatened by that because if she's hitting me and smacking me, it's like being smacked by a cat. Like, that's the sort of energy. It doesn't feel like a threat, which felt really good. <laughs> yeah. What else did I notice? You know, something's coming to mind right now. I'm sort of feeding that the consciousness of this one aspect because what I feel like this one has lost touch with is that by being the essence of what a man is, actually it would be this part that has created that one. Meaning that at some point, you know, when the essence of a man met with certain conditions in the external world, like the process of socialization, for example, it would have had to have sort of altered itself and filtered itself and dumbed itself down so as to not meet with whatever consequences it was meeting with at a certain point in time. And I feel like this part has lost awareness that it actually created that. It's almost like, oh, that's the enemy and that's the guy that sort of pulled us out of our path and you know, these two parts are warring without this one, the essence, basically, which is the part that doesn't want the traditional male role, which it's not seeing as the divine male role, it's seeing as the traditional male role, which is actually juxtaposed to it. Um, it doesn't see that it created that. So, you know, perhaps it realizing that it created that for a reason and then being like, oh, now it's time for me to uncreate that is a great opportunity for men to then, you know, step forward and create whatever is a natural expression and the new expression of, of their own masculine essence. Um, another thing that I'm taking out of this is, that, is I think it's important right now after seeing both of their perspective, you know, because what this one really is wanting is to be able to like really be a man and to be able to um, have women really be women, to have there be sort of like a real clear separation. And it's not even about whether one's better or worse at all. When I was in those parts, it was really just, you know, I want us to be recognized for what is different about us um, it's like white isn't better than black and black isn't better than white, but it's almost like they're having a better relationship when white is white and black is black. So given that that's the only real desire that that one has and that we, it's possible to maintain that, obviously being in this sort of masculine essence, I think what's important to see is that, you know, potentially the time, it's the time right now to get rid of these, you know, traditional roles without getting rid of the masculinity. Potentially, that's the fusion that we find between these two aspects. Ah. Okay, so... I feel happy. Why? I can't stop smiling. Um, because that other aspect... I was listening, actually. Mm -hmm. And that, that other aspect is sort of like... This part that it seems really nice. There are parts of that that I feel in me. It's like this hint or like a ghost inside me, and I can feel that aspect as a ghost inside me kind of like calling me, almost like drum beats in a certain direction. And I like it. It's almost like a... You know what I liked is I was convincing myself that any part of me that wanted to not be the traditional male was like going to turn me into like a woman. And it felt exactly the opposite. So I actually feel a lot more aligned with that one than I've been taught to be. I feel like, I feel like someone cut me off from that. I feel like it was, you know, other women actually, and and watching my dad, or even lack of my dad. It's like what I feel like is that by watching my dad and watching my mom, it caused me to disconnect from that part, and they sort of taught me to see it as something that it really isn't. You know in favor of whatever I'm being told I'm supposed to be. So I'm realizing that I'm actually less male. Like I feel really controlled right now. I feel like, I feel like a, a tamed animal. So you like that other aspect? I really like that other aspect. I like especially, I was all afraid of it because I was like, no, 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 because I'm convinced that it's like, oh no, I'm gonna be having sex with every woman I want to have sex with and I'm gonna be like, a woman if I want to be a woman and I'm not going to support if I don't want to support and I'm like no like that is wrong but it's not that like that that part was like no I this is what I love about it that part was like I am a provider I am the one that takes responsibility I am the one that doesn't curtail myself 
I am so strong that, you know, to me, women and children, they, it feels like my responsibility, but I'm, I'm not threatened. Um, it just felt right. More free. Oh, yeah. Not just more, more juicy. Yeah. It's like I feel more alive now. I sort of want that other one to structure society, how society should be structured. And I don't really understand as this aspect why it changed. Yeah, I don't have that truth. I don't get, I don't understand why it changed. I don't get that truth. I'm just told that it needed to change and that's the end of it. It's like, I don't get to ask questions. That's also not okay. I feel kind of good towards that part. I want it to, I want it to create a different way of being. I just am like so happy that it doesn't want to be a woman. I can't stand it. <laughs> Is there any aspect that you don't like about it? No, I'm just so mad that someone cut me off from it. No. I feel like it has its own conscience. You know, it's like in, as this part forever, I've been feeling like I'm taught that I can't trust myself because I'm a man. And that part's like, no, because you're a man, you can trust yourself. I love that feeling. So I feel fine. Great. <laughs> I feel like I can do, I feel like I can be whatever I want. I feel like if I want to cut my hair, I can cut my hair. If I want to grow it out, I can grow it out. If I want to wear certain clothes, I can wear certain clothes. If I want to wear certain clothes because I want somebody to like the way I look, I can wear those certain clothes. But it's like I'm not in any way holding myself back. Oh, that's what I want the most. I just feel like for my whole life I got the brakes on. This is not who I am. I'm good. I had a problem with what you said just now because you basically wanted me to be the non-traditional role. No, I am the traditional role. I'm the traditional role. That one who was convinced it was the traditional role wasn't actually the real traditional role. You almost feel Native American. I'm primal. Yes, I'm instinctual. Right. I exist within every man. You are the traditional role. I am. I'm the real role. And we just figured that out. Good to have you back. Yeah. So ask me, what do you want to ask me? Now that I've got that aspect, finally figured a shit out, what do you want from me? How do you want to see society change? I want people to be more free. I don't feel like what women decide to do should have anything to do with what we decide to do. That's the first thing. So whether a woman decides to work or not shouldn't dictate whether we decide that we're providers or not. If a woman has an issue with the fact that we're opening a door for her, it's our responsibility to explain why we're doing that. If we would like a woman who is a certain way because that's what we've decided is right for us, then we have to go for that woman and not try to make a woman something other than what she is. I feel like women deserve us. I feel like it is our job to protect everybody in society, most especially women and children. And I feel like it's my nature to provide, regardless of what they're doing or not doing. That is like what's true to me. What other people do does not dictate what I do. I am responsible for my own destiny. And I am a leader by nature. And I can do no other than be successful. It's not possible to not be. I have got too much energy. And I feel like I'm not afraid of feeling. I do feel. And I have to be intuitive. Because otherwise I can't take care of anything.
I'm a very poor leader unless I know exactly where everyone is at every moment of the day. And unless the things in my care are in perfect condition, I can't call myself a man. I'm ready. You ready?